The introduction of the Regional Enterprise Competitiveness and Access to Markets Program, RECAMP, comes out of a desire for women entrepreneurs in the Comesa block to take a giant leap forward in business. Seeking to create a cadre of knowledgeable and informed businesswomen, the initiative is amongst others building the capacity of entrepreneurs in the region to explore new markets and also manage their businesses efficiently. This is coming hot on the heels of the launch of the African Continental Free Trade Area, the world's largest single market of 1.3 billion people, valued at $3.4 trillion, which is roughly 2.8 quadrillion kwacha. To ensure that their people do not miss out on this trade opportunity, 14 of the 21 Comesa members have already signed up to the program, including Malawi. Ruth Negash is Chief Executive Officer of the Comesa Federation of Women in Business, and she says this is a game changer. The idea is that this training will give them knowledge that value-added products make more profits than if they go raw material. So it's not just import replacement, but it's also preparing themselves to export, one by doing a good uh, product development, uh, branding, packaging, and standardizing. Once they have a good standards product, then uh, they can they can start looking for markets. With little or no access to finances, and now facing hurdles due to the emergence of COVID-19 restrictions, women entrepreneurs in the region face an apple task to make it in business. Chairperson of the local chapter of Comesa Federation of Women in Business, Barbara Banda, says supporting women businesses should start with the introduction of gender responsive policies. You can't do business without money, so we are looking at financial inclusion, pushing the banks, pushing government to have policies where government has got a financial instrument on the market, like NIF. We want it to spell out how much of that money is going to women, in what volumes, because we are tired of small loans. She says the new MSC order that government introduced recently to give the medium and small enterprise sector a 60% share of government contracts in the establishment of the one-stop border polls are initiatives that will go a long way in promoting the sector. I am Marissa MBC Lilongwe.